Hey guys, today we're making up another budget-friendly meal, simple, easy, and absolutely delicious pineapple chicken. And honestly, I cannot think of a better combination than chicken and pineapple. So let's make some up. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab up three boneless, skinless chicken breasts and cut them into bite-sized chunks. You know, not too big, not too small, just fairly manageable. And of course, you can always use thighs too, and I like thighs a little bit better because they tend to be a little tastier, but you know, I had chicken breasts on hand, so I decided to use those. Add them into a bowl. All right, let's go ahead and season these up with a little bit of salt, not too much, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon or so. Followed by some ground black pepper, and you know me, I just love pepper, and about a teaspoon of this too. Now in with an egg. And this viewer told me a joke. He said a chicken and a duck were standing at the side of the road and the chicken was going to cross. And the duck looked at the chicken and said, hey man, don't do it. You'll never hear the end of it. It's kind of one of those high complexity, you got to think about it jokes. All right, after the comedy hour, grab up your wooden spoons or spoons of any sort and just kind of toss everything together until that salt, pepper and egg coat the chicken completely. I need to add too, don't let me hold you hostage. If you want to add extra seasonings such as garlic, paprika, whatever you like, just go ahead and do that. We're just keeping this as simple as possible today. Now we're going to go ahead and throw in about a cup of all-purpose flour. Grab up the cheapest and best cooking utensil you will ever find, your hands, and just kind of massage that chicken until the flour completely coats it. Next up, I'm going to add some cooking oil to my handy dandy wok. Now, you don't have to use a wok, you can use a deep fryer or even a frying pan. But we're going to heat this up to about 350 degrees. Add the chicken in and we're going to fry this up in batches until it is a beautiful golden brown. Of course, because of the flour, it's kind of sticking together. So I'll just take my spoons and divide it up. Come on, get apart there. You chickens always stick together. All right, I know. Enough of the corny jokes. Of course, while the chicken is frying up, you want to turn and twist it so it fries up evenly. After a few minutes, depending on the thickness of your chicken, it is a beautiful golden brown. And just look at this. So we shall just go ahead and set this aside on a wire rack to drain off any of that excess grease. And some of you are probably going to ask me, where did you get that rack? And I think it was from a company called Copper Chef. Not 100% sure, but if I'm right, I will put a link in the description section below. It is handy and looks quite pretty. Now, of course, you could eat this as is, but we are not done yet. Because we are going to make our sauce using the same wok, only draining the oil. So I'm going to add in, oh, I'd say about half a medium-sized bell pepper chopped. Followed by a medium-sized can of pineapple, and you want juice and all here. And these are the chunks, not the tidbits. It's better to use the chunks. Then a tablespoon of brown sugar just to sweeten up our lives. A quarter cup of H2O, that's water for you non-Nobel scientists like myself. And we'll just bring this to a boil. After a boil, I'm going to add in a tablespoon of cornstarch, diluted in a tablespoon of water, and this is going to thicken things up. And yes, indeedy, we're going to give this a stir until everything thickens right up here. You guessed it. Go ahead and add that fried chicken back in. Grab up your spoons and once again give everything a good toss around until that chicken is coated with that pineapple sauce. Oh, this is looking and smelling so good, guys. And just look at that. I don't think it gets much better. Of course, of course, of course, you want to serve this up over a bowl of steaming hot rice. And you can use the rice of your choice. Like I always say, Uncle Ben's in the package works just fine. Now to make all things pretty like and a bit more flavor, I'm going to garnish this with some chopped green onions. And there it is guys, our simple, easy, and budget friendly pineapple rice. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a hit. And you bite into this, the chicken is crispy, that pineapple mixture is just sensational, and the way it is drizzled down into the rice, oh you just can't beat it. Definitely a must make. And as I say in every video, guys, if you like what you saw, give us a like because it does help us out. And if you're so inclined, subscribe.